Kitty chat. Oh my goodness. Things are, you know, moving here, uh, coordinating with my daughter for their wedding. <clears throat> so it looks like I'm going to uh, <clears throat> walk her down the aisle. <coughs> Excuse me. And then officiate. So yesterday I called her and I found this wonderful... Um, wonderful ceremony. It's not your typical, you know, love, honor, and obey. You know? <laughs> That's definitely not going to suit them. So I did find a wonderful ceremony. They loved it. And so they said it was absolutely perfect. So that's out of the way. Ceremony is finally found. Um, so ready for that. Um, there, I, I asked her, how do you pronounce Walter's last name? <laughs> and I would have had it totally wrong. So I'm good. I really good and glad that I've asked him. So that's, um, you know, that's out of the way now. And uh, so that's good. So next thing to work on is the centerpieces. <clears throat> oh my goodness. Um, they want a Star Wars themed wedding. Okay, <laughs> so you know how difficult it is to find a Star Wars themed um, centerpiece to do? Not easy. So anyway, um, I'm off to start working on that. I have to get some Star Wars um, different figures and stuff so that I can make uh, the centerpieces for them. Um, she sent me some ideas, and so that's good. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to get started on that. I said, you know, look, they were going to make them there. I said, but, uh, you know, I'm here, I'm driving. I can put them in the back of the car. They're flying in. So I said, let me take care of those. So, um, I've got plenty of time, thank God, to, to make the centerpieces. <laughs> so, I'm off to start doing that. I've got some ideas, like the one idea she showed me that she really liked was just like a fishbowl with R2-D2 in it and C-3PO in a sand landscape. And then I wanted to put these, I know the silver star things they have um, for Christmas stuff and things. I know they've got them now, so that would be good around it. So their colors are silver and black and purple and pink. So, um, and she wanted, there's three tables. She wants different centerpieces on each table. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to go start working on that. The thing is finding the figures, okay? Um, what do you have to say about that, Mr. Max? What do you think? You think it's okay? Yeah? You're approving? Oh, okay. He approves of it, so I'm going to go start seeing if I can find the figures and uh, go down and get some ideas on this. Um, <laughs> what? Me to me. Oh my goodness, I know. She looks like she should be in Star Wars. <laughs> my odd-looking little character over here, sit. So I'm going to go start working on those today. I've got some ideas. Like I said, I want to go grab those star things while I can, while I know they have them in stock, because that will be good around those fishbowl-type things. Um, and I think some of the other tables, I'm not going to do them all round. I think I'll do some taller ones, you know, mix it up a little bit. Will you, <laughs> me to me, will you, oh my God, you're a pain, Miss May May. <sighs> really? Oh, nose kiss. Yes, I know what you want. I know. I know, she <laughs> tries to pull your hand over and says, pet me, 
pet me, I'm a pet, I need to be petted. Okay, now you two are going to have to let me go because I've got some work to do. Yeah, mom's got work to do. So I'm going to leave these two munchkins here and I'm off and running and seeing what I can fi find so I can get some ideas. Will you quit? Oh my God. <laughs> quit. Maida May, quit pushing. She pushes you. Will you quit? Quit. <laughs> oh. She wears me out sometimes, I tell you. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here and I'll see you online.